Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you today about the auto hotkey tutorials that I've been doing and um, we're going to go in a little bit of a different direction with them. So I've been making them and uh, uploading them to YouTube but so is someone else. So um, this is the AHK Tuts channel uh, spelled A-H-K-T-U-T-S and um, he's been making videos too. A lot of videos about auto hockey. He has all these different uh, videos and different playlists at different uh, levels of experience. So, instead of us doing the same things, we have a lot of overlapping videos currently. He has a few videos about variables and if statements and all that, instead of us doing the same things um, and making the same videos which doesn't get anything accomplished, we're going to go a different way. So I've talked to the owner of the channel, um, he's an active member on the Auto Hockey Forum, goes by the name of Raptor X there, and what we're going to do is he's going to make the videos that talk about the language itself, things like variables and um, calm objects and all that stuff. And then I'm going to do examples that go along with those tutorials that he does. So if he does something about about hotkeys, I might do something about how to use hotkeys in uh, games, or how to use hotkeys to uh, make browsing the web easier, or something like that that goes along with his tutorials. And so you can watch one, get the ideas, like, like how loop parse works, and then you can uh, see a video that's a more practical application of that. Or is this just talking about um, how the loop parse function works, how the uh, command works? And maybe it'll give a really simple example. But then I might go and say, um, this is how you'd parse a log for a program, maybe a common program or something like that. So these are the, the really strict language things that he's going to be doing. And then I'm going to turn around and make examples that go along with those. So you can watch one and then watch the other and get a really good idea of how of how that thing works in AutoHotKey. So that's it for this and um, I hope he makes some more videos soon and I'm definitely going to make some more soon and we're going to keep this going and you're going to have a lot of great resources to use when you're learning AutoHotKey. Thanks, see you next time.